Thomas Cook is uh, on our radar. Mahesh Ayer, Executive Director and CEO joins us now. Ms. Ayer, hi, good morning. Uh, first up, if you could take us through the highlights of your quarter and are we seeing a dip across some segments? Uh, not really. I, I think we've had a very strong quarter and a strong full year numbers. Uh, let me just explain this out to you. Strictly, first of all, uh, these are not comparable numbers for the full year because in the FY18 numbers, you're going to have the quest numbers uh, that are there for the 11 month period. So strictly, they are not comparable. Uh, secondly, uh, you must be mindful of the fact that the quarter that we are talking about is an investment quarter. It's a seasonally low quarter in terms of trends for sales as well as investments that we make in the business. So these are the two factors that you must keep in mind. Uh, if you look at barring the quest results out of this, our profitability for the travel and the forex business actually grew by uh, almost tenfold from four crores to about 50, five crores to about 57 crores. So that's a substantial improvement in profitability that we have seen. And that's at the backdrop of a over 18% growth in our revenue. Uh, the, the standalone TCL businesses actually uh, tripled their profitability from about 10 crores to about 40 crores. Uh, if you look at TCI, the profits actually grew by about 20%. Hong Kong actually doubled their profits from about 12 crores to 24 crores. And the DMS enterprises, the enterprise that we acquired in 2017, actually reduced their losses from about uh, 13 crores, 37 crores to about 13 crores. So honestly, I think all around uh, for, for, the, for the period FY19, we have seen a very strong performance, both in terms of growth in sales, revenue and overall profitability. It may not be reflective in the numbers and that's what we are putting out in our press release to clearly say uh, that these are not comparable numbers because the quest results are included in the 11 months for the period for 11 months in the FY18 numbers. Uh, they became an associate after that and hence strictly they are not comparable numbers. Right. Hi, Mr. Ayer. Uh, let's uh, talk a bit more about uh, the revenues then. And if you could break up uh, the revenue based on segments, uh, travel and related services, is that going to continue to drive growth for Thomasco going forward? So for, uh, for FY19, as I mentioned, we have seen some strong momentum. Uh, our revenues actually grew by about 17% grew by about in terms of sales uh, for the travel business. For the Forex business, our revenues actually grew by about 10%. Profitability at both the businesses grew by a high double digit. That's about 20, 22%. So that's the kind of growth that we have witnessed in both the businesses. Going forward, uh, as we've said before, our forward bookings uh, for the peak season, that's April to June, are looking at about 20, 22% growth. Uh, for the full year, our expectation is that they will taper off post the peak of the holiday season. We expect an overall 15% growth in the portfolio for the travel businesses. On the foreign exchange side, uh, as we speak, currently we've already seen about 7-8% growth and we expect that to be about 11 or 12% growth for the full year. So clearly the momentum is very strong. We have some uh, good uh, tailwinds with us and we believe that this momentum will continue. What about your margins? Uh, what would you, uh, you know, what is the kind of guidance you could give us at this point of time? So clearly, if you look at our EBITDA margins have remained very stable because the gross operating margins at any of the business have not deteriorated. In fact, uh, in our foreign exchange and in our corporate travel business, our mar margins have actually improved by about 20 basis points. So that's a good trend that we witnessed. On the holiday side, it's a little early in the game as you will appreciate that, uh, you know, the, the disturbance that we have had because of the aviation sector crisis has kind of impacted some part of our uh, margins on that. But the season is still ahead of us. We expect that a lot of that will be recouped as we go along. So I don't think, think for the full year there will be any challenge on the yields on the holiday side. But overall, our yields, uh, my expectation is that they will continue to go up. And I expect about a 40 to 50 basis point improvement in our EBIT margins for the full year period. Uh, on, on More on the sustainability side, I think our focus has been on free cash generation. Uh, we generate about 350 crores of free cash every year. And, and this year is going to be no different from that. Okay, what about your forex business uh, in general? Because uh, we are seeing, uh, you know, the dollar strength uh, come back. So is the forex business being hit or impacted because of that? So if you look at forex, actually, uh, you know, appreciation of rupee is a good trend because it leaves, uh, they can buy more dollars for lower rupee value. So I think that's a very good trend to have. Uh, and, and, you know, if you've seen the volatility over the last three, four months has been kind of steady. We've seen about 
half a percent to one percent movement in the dollar rupee rate. It's been hovering around the 70 rupee range. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a good trend to have. Same is the case with euro. If you look at the euro trend, I think it's remained very range bound, less than one percent volatility. So I think uh, looking at from those perspective, uh, we don't see any challenge at, as far as the foreign exchange business is concerned. As I mentioned, our retail portfolio has been growing at about 11 percent. And, and we expect that uh, growth to, that, that growth momentum to continue. On the B2B side, on the Forex, we see some strong uh, 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 tailwinds coming our way. Uh, corporates are willing to spend a lot more and, and we, our belief is that that portfolio will continue to even grow at about double digits, that's about 10 to 11 percent. So clearly, uh, from a Forex business point of view, the momentum is, is very strong. Uh, more specifically, if I talk about the borderless prepaid, the, the prepaid product that we offer, uh, for the quarter in consideration, we've seen a volume growth of, growth of over 20 percent and for the full year, our expectation is to range, remain in that range. Mr. So, Ayer, what is the outlook going forward? Can you leave us with some kind of a guidance for the next few months? Uh, typically, as I said, we don't give forward-looking guidance, but yes, as I mentioned, uh, on, on the holiday portfolio, on the travel portfolio, we expect about 15%. Our forward bookings are currently looking at about 15% for the full year. Uh, we also expect uh, about 10 to 11% growth on, on our foreign exchange business. Uh, that's what I can talk about as uh, guidance. As I, we don't give forward-looking guidance, but these are early indicators that we have with us for the full year in consideration. Okay, uh, Mr. Ayar, great speaking with you. Thank you for joining in and sharing with us uh, what went by for Thomas Cook in the fourth quarter. The stock